Pimpin' ain't easy. <clears throat> Clever girl. What if I just do the whole artist problem? <laughs> I'll just be back here. Yeah. No. <laughs> this is for a magic act? <laughs> it's very slimming. Look how svelte this thing looks. It's... <sighs> I'm um, actually, I don't know about this one because um, I'm not left-handed, but I, I, just, I feel like I need to address the people about it. Let's, let's just face the realities of this. Okay, we are living in a righty's world, and I am a righty girl. Well, I mean, it's very simple why that is. Uh, 75 to 90% of the population is believed to be right-handed. The rest are either left-handed, uh, am amphibious, as they said at NC State, am ambidextrous, am Am ambidextrous? ambidextrous? Ambidextrous. I think I'm developing a lisp from saying that. Uh, or unknown, which I don't even know what that means. I guess like, like Ariel, I don't know what she's gonna be. She can go both ways, and I'm fine with it either way. That's important. Righties make up the majority. However, there is this rumor, uh, and I'll call it a rumor because I can't find any actual documentation on it, and we're gonna do a little survey in this video with you right now. I wanna know right now, are you left-handed or right-handed? Let me know below and I'll tally them up and, and we'll probably discuss it amongst ourselves. I believe that based on what I have been told and witnessed that that 75 to 90% is more closer to 50-50 for artists to be left-handed or right-handed. If it is true, I remember, maybe you remember, in school, uh, is it physical science or kinesiology? They didn't have kinesiology in elementary school. They taught me, and for some reason this is the one thing I remember, I've forgotten everything else, believe me, that your, the right side of your brain controls the left side of your body, and the left side of your brain controls the right side of your body. So when I choose to move my right arm, that command is coming from the left side of the brain. If that is true, there's a lot of ifs here, okay? If that is true, it stands to reason that it makes sense that the right side of your brain, which is your creative center, right? That's where you dream, you, you come up with things, you fall in love. Everything good in life is from the right side of the brain. And that's good strategy, which is left. I think you need both. You need both sides of the brain. It would make sense that because the right side of your brain is that creative center, and it controls your left hand that you might be more inclined to be an artist. Just in this building, I'll tell you that, you know, our resident artist, Amy Gardner-Dean, who uh, hosts Jerry's Live on Facebook, you know, she's left-handed, uh, Olivia's left-handed. Um, no, uh, you look like a righty to me. Regardless of all this, because that's been taking up about seven minutes of everybody's time now, we live in this righty world, and there are struggles that lefties go through. Now, I'm not sitting up here saying that we need to start major protests in defense of the lefties, okay? And, and I'm, you know, I'm, <laughs> I don't want to get protested, you know. I don't think it's right that we, you know, go around, you know, yelling, kill righty, um, and, and, and getting everybody all up in arms. I just think we need to understand that there are ways to cope and that there are things out there available. I'm going to focus on a few things art-related, but there are websites literally dedicated to, like, left-handed can openers or scissors. That, you know, even just the way you hold them the grip can be biased towards a right-handed person because they'll sell more. <laughs> I mean, probably. For artists, um, one of the things that I noticed that we sell is a lefty pencil sharpener. Now, I was actually surprised because, you know, I take for granted when I sharpen a pencil that it's comfortable for me to go like this, to, to go, I guess that's counterclockwise, right? This is also yes in sign language. What I want to do is I want to feel the pain. I'm going to try to use a lefty sharpener being right-handed. So, you know, this feels uncomfortable to me. So I would probably, if I was just naturally grabbing this, I would take this and start to go like this. But nothing's happening. It's in the hole, but nothing's happening. I have to go against the grain. Yeah. And that is a lot of work. You might like it. I'm going to give this to you after. You're welcome. I, what am I going to do with it? This? So let me even try it left-handed. It's actually easier for me to go to my left hand. That's, I think, you know, a lot of times, why are people that are left-handed am, am, oh, what? 
ambidextrous. Why do people that are left-handed also tend to be able to use both hands? Well, I think out of necessity, because they've been forced. My um, wife's grandmother, so my daughter's great-grandmother, uh, she was raised in um, a small town in France. They forced her to write with her right hand, even though she was left-handed. Now, another thing that artists kind of deal with, um, an artist problem that, that you can get is, is sketchbooks. When I go to my sketchbook to sketch, I take for granted, I take the label off first. I have the page free for me to make these loose, loose marks, okay? I can, I can come in here and I can, you know, scribble and, and doodle. However, a left-handed person is kind of fighting, especially if they wear a bunch of accoutrement like me, um, is fighting the binding. This happens a lot. Now, this is not, this is not comfortable. I don't, I'm not enjoying this. I'm not enjoying this. So one of the simplest things that I think that anybody can do is just turn it upside down. I mean, if you're an Israeli artist, this is really easy for you because this is already how you do it. You know, Hebrew, you read. Yeah, just, you know, do it like a Jew. And if you're left-handed, if you're left-handed and you're writing in Hebrew, it's better to be left-handed. Yeah, because you write right to left. This is a little bit too much of a history lesson. Is it history or what, what is that? The study of, I don't know what I'm talking about. Turning it upside down is the point and having the strength to not be so OCD to say it's backwards. It's not, this is, this is now the way it goes. I don't know who decided that the binding went on the right side, um, but they were wrong about being right. Okay, you get that? Another thing that uh, you know, I found available to us was a palette. Uh, this is the new wave palette. These pods are gorgeous, oh my gosh. And unfortunately, I, for the purposes of this video, I had to order one that I can't use. This is a lefty one. Designed to be more comfortable, they, they sell a palette, a left-handed palette and a right-handed palette. Now I want you to think about this from a business point of view. So to maybe help that kind of rumor that more artists are left-handed in terms of overall population, why would they make a separate skew or, or you know, a, a whole other item that's gonna sell 90, seven, uh, tw uh, whoa, wait, 75 to 90 percent less because the majority of the population is right-handed. Well, I think that they wouldn't. You know, I think that that speaks to the fact that there are left-handed artists. So this is a left-handed palette. Now you could say, well, I mean, I could flip it over and, but the way the grip is designed, you can see here the padding for the thumb is not the same as on this side. And I, I'm sure there's some other scientific ergonomic reasons why it you know, uh, was designed this way, but I will tell you that if I was left-handed, this is the way I would want to paint. Another thing that is very common, and oh, where's the thing? Uh, I meant to take the thing out, but I put it back because Amy needed it. I need, yeah, Katie knows what thing I need. Hold on, we're getting a thing. It's a left hand, but it's designed to be sure. right. Oh, you're looking at my mark. All right. Well, well, a lot of this video is going to be hearsay. According to Ming, <laughs> Da Vinci was left-handed and wrote backwards to prevent smudging. Now, this isn't, you know, an artist problem. This is just a writing problem. I've looked at Olivia's hand. It's gross. Everything. It's drug through the the, the graphite, the, the ink. Now, I'm not saying every time you want to write a love letter, you get this out, but there are things out there like a leaning bridge or mall stick. These are just designed to make it more comfortable and get your hand up and out of your art business. You know what I mean? Keep it clean. It's so heavy. So this is actually designed for whether you're right or left-handed to steady your hand. Imagine this is like a big marker or something that can very easily smudge. Getting up off there, you know, I'm not, I'm not a left-handed person, so this is so silly. Why am I doing this? Because I care about you lefties out there. So it's just another thing to help get your hand up off the surface is the point. I'm not saying you have to use it. There are times in life where I find that using my non-dominant hand, I'm tired of saying lefty and righty, my non-dominant hand um, actually is uh, not as much of a burden. It actually is, is helpful. You know, one of the times uh, that I find it's helpful is um, if I want to be loose, like get loose with it. You know, a lot of times artists want to loosen up and even though you usually want to warm up the hand that you're going to be using, using your left hand or your non-dominant hand will really just kind of let your mind flow. And if you are a lefty and you're an artist, you are forcing that left side of your brain to think art. And if you're a righty who's using your left hand to get loose, you're using the creative side of your brain to get loose. Isn't that just not a good point? It's a good way to loosen up to use that non-dominant hand. Now, there are other times in life, like 
if I want to make sure that I'm not going too fast. There are times when I am really enjoying myself and if I could just last a little longer, I would be able to enjoy it. So when I'm masticating, I like to use my left hand because it takes me, I slow down, I enjoy the food more. Does that make sense? Did it not work? It worked. <laughs> You like it. You know, there are other things for artists out there like special calligraphy nibs designed um, for left-handed uh, artists. Uh, again, why would they make it if it wasn't true? We'll find out, I guess, after everybody watches. I wanna know, right-handed or left-handed? What are you? Um, and if you are left-handed, what have been some of your you know, woes? What has been an item that maybe uh, I haven't thought of or a trick that I haven't thought of that's helped you with your art? Because I think that's a good thing to, to share. Good. It's a good message. You know, it's, it's totally okay. Use your left hand to draw, use your left hand um, to paint, and use your left hand to find me on Instagram, at Mike Not Jerry, where uh, hopefully there'll be more fun stuff on there for you to enjoy that, uh, you know, inspires you, keeps you creative. I'm, I'm a creativity coach. That's what I've, I've self-named. You know, some people are like, oh, I'm the king of so-and-so, like the king of rock or pop or soul. Uh, I'm, I'm the king of creativity. That's right. I've, I just dubbed myself creativity coach king. That's a little... You know, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, that means to eat. I understand. I am a masticator. I'll be masticating later today, and I'll be using my left hand so I enjoy my time more. Masticating. Yeah, that's right. Because I I eat quick, and I don't want to finish too quickly. I take my time, enjoy it, savor the flavor. I actually try to plan out little bits ahead of time. I came up with the whole mastication thing in the shower this morning. I don't usually masticate in the shower, but I thought about it. I'm an amphibious masticator that's here to spread a message. We are living in a righty world and I am a righty girl.